Hello and welcome to SOAP UI tutorial. So in previous tutorial, we have saw how you can set up the whole um, Asana API or endpoint and resource to create the project and also to set up the authentication. So how you will be able to sign up to Asana account, uh, free trial account, uh, and then um, how you will be able to get the authentication token and configure in SOAP UI. So once you are all done with that, now what we'll do is we'll create a test suite and then try to understand the post request in SOAP UI. So to create a test suite, I'll just right click on this particular endpoint and click on generate test suite. It will open the generate test suite window and in the test suite, you'll see the create option is there. Uh, choose the style and then all the resources below this particular endpoint will be listed here. So at the moment, there is just one resource for the project which is already selected and I don't want load test to be generated for each test case. So uncheck that and click on OK, right? So it will ask the name of the test suite. So what I'll say is asana.com uh, test suite, just leave that, right? So now you can see that the test suite has been created. Let me close this window here. Now you can see asana.com test suite has been created. And below that you will see the project's test case and the test step, right? So test step, it, it has picked this particular request and has put the request in the test step, okay? If you open this particular request, you will see the auth is already there, which we selected. And you have the resource method and the API. Okay. So now if this particular request that we're talking about, okay, if you want to hit this particular request, so this is the get request. All right. Now, when we hit this particular request, so let's understand some of the documentation for this particular get request for the project. So if you go to the project on the developers, uh, Asana project documentation, uh, click on the get projects. So how you will be able to get the projects or return the projects in the workspace. So you'll see that it that's the particular endpoint to get the projects, right? APIs. Uh, so this is the um, your endpoint. And this is the resource from where you will get all the details of the project. And these are the parameters here. So workspace, team and archived. Okay, so you can pass these three parameters here. So if you want to uh, filter the project in a particular workspace, you just provide that particular parameter in SOAP UI. So how you will provide that? You can provide that particular parameter in the parameter section. Okay, so here itself, if you open this, you see the parameters here. So you can provide the parameters your workspace here. All right, so you just provide the workspace and then the value of the workspace. So that's how you'll be able to pull the projects within the workspace. Now, because we want to pull the projects in the organization level, we'll just hit this particular request and then see what is the response. Okay, so I have already executed this and let's see what the response is for this particular request. Now, the response will be the JSON response and you will see that it has pulled all the projects available in that particular organization. So you can see uh, I have three projects, uh, IT project plan, second sample project and bug project. So if I open my Asana uh, homepage, right? So here you can see that there are three projects. So you have bug project, second sample project and IT project plan, which have been pulled in the SOAP UI. Now to create a project, we need to see what is the endpoint and resource for creating the project. So let's go to the documentation and go to the projects. Now here we have seen the get projects and we have pulled the projects in the particular organization or the workspace and go to the post project. Now the, the resource is almost same, right? We'll just copy that. And then you have the body parameter and body parameter requires certain data to create the project, right? So you, it requires the name, it requires the notes, 
workspace and team to create a project so workspace id and team id as well so let's import this endpoint okay in soap ui and then try to figure out how we are going to create the project okay so what i'll do is i'll just right click and click on new resource and paste that and the endpoint is same so i'll just say new resource api 1.0 project and basically i think the resource is all same it's just the difference between the method so what we can do is we'll just uh, delete this and just add another request and we'll say just duplicate this particular request or clone request and we'll say post and create new project because everything is all same the only difference will be in the get or post okay so to get a project you will just say get request and to post or create a project you will just say the method as post okay and resource is all same what you have to do is in uh, creating a project you have to provide the media type as application or uh, slash json and you have to provide the details so just in the body parameter that will be the json request copy that and paste it right so here the name of the project so i'll say rcv academy demo project and for learning purpose okay so you can provide any notes there now the third thing is uh, the workspace and team id right so this is what we need to figure out okay so if we try to send this particular request and see what the response is so that it will complain about the workspace and team id not valid so let's try and run and see how um, it is going to respond all right so let me post this particular request and see the response now in the response section you will see workspace not a recognized id right so it couldn't recognize the valid workspace because 1331 is just a dummy data uh, and we need to find the actual workspace that is there for us to create a project so when i have enrolled into the sana account right so there is a particular workspace so how to find that particular workspace is we just go to the documentation again and go to the workspace now in the workspaces we'll use the get workspaces endpoint so you can see the endpoint is same we'll just copy the resource which is a bit different and create a new resource so i'll add a new resource because the resource is different it's api 1.0 workspaces and in the workspaces there is a get method okay and then i have to set up the auth as well so i'll set up the auth quickly so i have set up the auth and now let's run this get request and see what all workspaces are there okay so let it finish so it has finished let's go to json response and see that's the particular GID. So that's the workspace and the name and the resource type. You can see the resource type is workspace. So just copy this GID. All right. And then that's the GID that you need to paste in the workspace section. Right. So now we have got the workspace. The next thing is we have to get the team as well. So team ID as well. So let's go to the documentation and search for teams all right now in the team how we can get the team gid so getting the team with the team gid that's the first request or we are more interested into getting all the um, teams 
in the particular organization okay so this second one is we are interested in more because we want all the teams or whatever teams are available in this particular workspace or in the particular organization so i'll just copy the resource okay and which requires the workspace gid go to soap ui again and just say new resource so right click on the endpoint and click on new resource to get the team id right so that's the resource path to get the teams in the particular organization workspace click on ok now here you can keep renaming this just to keep make it more readable right so here we are having the workspace gid and then we have to provide the value for the workspace so workspace we have already found in the previous request let me copy that from the response and paste it here to get the team ids right so this is the workspace id we have got from this particular workspace get request right so just copy that open the team id and in the workspace gid provide this workspace and now what will happen is all the teams that are below this particular workspace will be displayed okay prior to this you need to configure the authentication as well so i'll quickly configure auth and run this particular request to get the teams so once you get the team id then that team the particular team id you can use to create the project in a particular workspace so the request has finished successfully go to json response and you can see there are two teams available here so rcv academy team and it updated so what we'll do is we'll create a new project in rcv um, academy team all right so we have the workspace id and then we have to provide the team id as well or we have to provide which team will be associated with this particular so let me copy that and go to this post request again and in the post request provide the team id so now we have all the required data to basically create a new project in this particular workspace let me delete this parameter we don't need this all right so let's run this post method and see that the project gets created successfully. Okay, so the request has ran and let's go to JSON and you can see that the response contains all the required details for that particular project. So that's the GID for the project, right? And it shows the resource type as project. It shows the created time who is the owner and all other details so it provides the detail of the workspace and then what team this particular uh, project is associated to whether it's template followers etc right? so that's the response that we have got by sending this post request now let's go ahead and verify in the ui that this particular post request got successful okay so here just refresh the home page okay we'll just refresh it and see a new project got created successfully so after refreshing so now we knew that we created a new project in rcv academy team so if you open the team details you will see rcv academy demo project got created here right and then there were three projects already in the it updated which are there right so we have successfully created a new project using the post request from soap ui right now in real time testing and scenarios what you'll do is so we have all haven't uh, actually created the test suite so what we'll do is we'll directly go to the test suite and then create the test case 
and then add all these requests as test cases in this particular test suite. All right, so we'll cover this in further tutorial. So hope you like the video. Thank you very much for watching.